All right, we are live. We are live. Everybody, welcome back to Knuckles Family Affair Podcast. We discuss all things in pop culture, whether it's video games, anime, comics, a little bit of reality TV show, all that good stuff right here. And today, once again, me and Casey are back to discuss the Challenge 40, Battle of the Errors. Are we on episode 8 now, right? Episode 7. Is it 7? I thought it was 8. Yes. I think, well, that's no, no, what my no, guide no. said. It said, set, it said 407. Wait, so is that what? Wait, hold up. No, hold because no, it's, just episode, it's episode eight. Really? Okay. Well, then my cable box is wrong. Because the, here's why I knew something was up because it says recorded, right? For episode seven, it says recorded October 2nd. So I'm like, okay. So then, because yesterday was October 9th. Yes. So I'm looking for October 9th. And I didn't see that there. But um I see episode eight, but I was on demand though. As I told Casey, I had to uh I came back from Mexico last night and so I had to watch it on on, on demand because for whatever reason it wasn't recorded. I don't know why it wasn't recorded. So maybe because I was away, maybe? I don't know. But it was not recorded. It is episode so. eight. My yeah. Cable box was wrong, jerks. But it was, but it was still the it was still the right episode though. Yeah, it's. I mean, I yeah, it's the, definitely the, the right episode. The gladiator stuff. Yes, it was the gladiator. Uh, stuff. I was about to say, like, hopefully we're. we're <laughs> I'm like, watching, oh my god, did I? Watch hopefully we're right watching episode. the same. The what we watched the same episode. We didn't watch the wrong episode. Like that would have been bad right there. But like, hey, guys, we gotta have to record because Casey <laughs> was watching the wrong episode right there. So that's on her. We're good. It was We're definitely good. episode eight. We're good. But um, how are you doing? Though? How are you doing on this wonderful Thursday night? Pretty good. Pretty good. It was long day of work, but we're doing great. I'm excited to talk about this challenge. Yeah. It was my first day back to work, uh, but I worked like a half day today. It was from 12.45 to 6, which is, which, which is so bad. Tomorrow, it's going to be slightly a little bit longer. Pause is going to be 11.45 to six so i can still like you know have time i like i have even more time to be at the gym and i'm not gonna lie there is this really really cute girl at the gym because i was i was on this one machine and she goes over hey i'm really using it. i'm like oh really because i didn't i look up i see her phone and her cup there i'm like oh my god i am so so sorry right and she was stunning but me being a me being a uh bitch. I was like, you know, it's just gonna say anything right there. I'm like, God dang it, man. Like, but but here's my thing, though. I tell this to people all the time. I only date nerds, so she can't go gorgeous, but she's not a nerd. I don't want her, you know? That's just I me. understand. <laughs> I, I get it. But, but I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have that question, be like, dang, I should have said something, but, but maybe. Maybe I might see her tomorrow. Maybe. I, I, because I went to the gym pretty, like, later today, because I had to be at work at 12.45, so maybe I might get to see Gutifer tomorrow maybe who knows maybe maybe like i, I said, wish you luck we'll see but like i say if she's not a nerd i don't want her done you know <laughs> i don't <laughs> want her but uh we're gonna, so we're gonna get to the challenge episode eight today we're gonna give our thoughts about it and this person had us on the twitter and i forgot his name and i'm i'm ashamed of that i will it'll come back to my mind eventually but he always has an mvp for each episode i'm like yo we had to do that too. So this is not my original idea. This is from him. So I don't want you, I don't want people to be like, oh yeah, you're still from no. It's it's him. I just forgot his name. Let, let me let me see. Let me see if I can uh look up his name on Twitter because he, he he normally shows up a lot on here. So watch by the time I look for him, I'm not gonna be able to find him right here. It's gonna be like taking forever, right? <laughs> no, but I mean, guy, I, I love Twitter when it comes to the chance. People be saying some like some wild shit on here. I love it. Do be saying some wild shit. I want to say, was it Alan? But he always he always does articles for for each episode, and I'm like, dang man, like, fuck. Why is it? Uh, why can I find his name on here? Damn it. But whatever. He'll he'll pop. He will pop up eventually, right there. So yeah. Anyway, so. We leave off with episode uh, seven. We have our new targets. Our targets are Air One by default, uh, Rachel and Derek. Error Two, Derek and Kara. Error Three, 
Corey and Avery and Air for Jenny and Theo. And, you know, I don't know. Did we start off with Jenny being married? Or did we start off with uh with Ryan and Bananas? Which which was the first one? We started off with Jenny being mad. Okay, I like I like mm-hmm. it. I like that we start off with this, right? And Jenny has every right to be mad. I understand it, but like I said, it comes down to relationships. But here's what kind of bothered me right here. Was Casey speaking on that? Like, yes, Casey is right, but when she's like, forgot, play with a bunch of rookies, I'm like, whoa, 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 Casey, Casey, Casey. Uh, Jenny's been in there longer than you. Let's get out the way. For whatever reason, ever since she won, she won uh, Total Madness, they she wasn't on for the next couple of seasons. The, I don't know. There, I, I think I told us about this before. There was rumors saying that they wanted Tori to win the next couple of challenges. That's why they didn't have Jenny on there. That doesn't sound accurate. I don't know. That would just sound really stupid. I could be wrong about that, but that just seems inaccurate. I I agree. I, I don't Cause think they, that that is cause accurate. Because ever since Carr was absent, they were trying to make Tori the girl. You know what I'm saying? Which is like, I don't know. That just seems very, very odd to me. But anyways, Jenny saying, I mean, Kay saying, I'm like, yo, Jenny, like, no, yo, Casey, like, chill with this, right? Like, it just, I don't know. I, I'm, like, I'm not trying to hit on Casey, but it's like, Casey, like, just hearing her speak about that, I'm just, I don't know. That kind of frustrates me. But does, does it seem like to me, to you, to us, right? And I could be wrong about this. I tweeted, I, I tweeted this when I saw the video, right? I, I had a comment on it. Does this seem like to me that are they trying to set up a Casey and Jenny elimination? Uh, yeah, I mean, it does a little bit, but it sucks because they're in the same era. Like, if they don't go into individual individuals, like, it's not going to happen. But that would be an awesome elimination. I would love to see that. I feel so that's what's holding back on certain, like, dream matchup eliminations because it's the difference. It's the errors. But like I said, the, when are they going to drop it down to just non-teams? I don't know. <laughs> it's driving me crazy, but it's like we're seeing it hype there, which also this hasn't been hyped just yet. I know we're, we could be jumping ahead right now, but like, we haven't... Okay. Somebody hasn't... We haven't really seen the whole Kara and Tori build up. I know. I mean... And we'll get into it a little bit. They touched on a little bit in this episode, but not a during whole the challenge, lot. but not a whole lot. I don't this. I don't think this car. Okay, they had their little back and forth on um, uh, battle battle for a new champion, but like it hasn't really been touched on. It hasn't really been touched on this season yet. Like, I don't this this car not like Tori like. I don't think Car dislikes her as much as we thought think we do, maybe. I think maybe the Laurel situation overshadows it. Like they could yeah. I feel like they could have used it and they could have like touched on that, but obviously people want to see Carl Laurel, Laurel versus Carl. That, mm-hmm. That's more TV entertainment right there. So maybe we will like I said we got a we get a glimpse of it, but it hasn't really been shown at all this season so far. Maybe we will in the future, maybe. Yeah. I want to see a Laurel Rachel elimination. I want to see that too, but I also, I really wanted to see an Emily and and a Laurel thing. Mm, I really wanted to see that too. But yeah, listen, there are some good matchups still that we can potentially still have. We still have a lot of strong women left. So like, there's, we still have a lot of stuff on the table right now, but Yes, we see uh, Casey talking about that. What was your take about that? Did you feel some type of way of Casey talking? Like I said, I like the whole rookie thing is just like, okay, Casey, let, let's pump the brakes on that right there. I do, it is a little frustrating just because, number one, like, I feel like Casey, a lot, a lot of Casey's social game comes directly from her relationship with Nani. Like, m- on a but like most of it, most of, I would say about 80% of her social game comes from her relationship with Nani. Nani has been a flagship on the challenge for what, 10 plus years now. It's like, that's where your social game comes from. And also she hides behind Josh a lot, which is so annoying because I can't stand Josh, but (laughs) yeah, like 
But I also understand what she's saying. You see Jenny a lot, like, hanging back or working out by herself or only socializing with one or two people. And that's true. Like, she doesn't talk game with people. I feel like that they kind of touched on that a lot this season. So, like, I kind of agree with her. But it's like, Casey doesn't really have much room to talk considering, like, her social game is built on the back of Nani. It really has been. And plus, you know, people still feel some type of way of how she won that final. Like, mm-hmm. people are, are never going to let that go. I mean, she's a she's a uh, champ. We can't take it away from her. But, like, I'm, oh, man, I don't like how she won that. Like, basically, if you were – uh, it should have been between Tori and the one girl. I forgot her name. But it was that one girl, Devin, and CT. If you didn't make it in that top four, you, like, you – Honestly, you did not deserve to win that, in my honest opinion, because they got screwed. Like, because you beat Nani in elimination. Like, I just thought that was just whack. And Ooh. I think Tori probably thought that was whack too. She just didn't want to say it. So yeah, we got out the way. So we just see a little thing back and forth between uh Ryan and Bananas. Honestly, I thought it was just nothing. It was just Bananas being not- bananas. Well, Ryan was like, "I'm moving out of this room." <laughs> but I was like, oh, I'm gonna move out too. Oh, it's like, good. oh my god. Yeah, it, it was really nothing to me, honestly. It was just like bananas being bananas. Like he likes to stir the pot, yeah. but he's really annoyed for the fact that uh for the fact that uh Ryan is not fucking here. It's just like it's in his head right now. It is in his head right now. He he hates it. Like he really, really hates it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He really, really hates it. So it's like, it's like Riot is in Banana's head. <laughs> yeah. And again, it's annoying. And I know we touched on this last week. It's just annoying because like Bananas wouldn't do if this ta- if the tables were turned, Bananas would do the exact same thing that's Ryan that Ryan is doing. The exact same thing. It's a lot of hypocritical stuff when it comes to the challenge right there. Every everybody's a hypocrite when it comes to the challenge. Like we've seen it all. Like even my favorites, it's like, yeah, bro, you you you've you done that before. So it's like, come on, man. Like, come on. Come on, you know. Come on, come on man. Come on, man. All right, so we get that the way. Did we get straight to the challenge right after that? Or was there like another thing that happened? Um, well, uh, we, saw, uh, we saw the Amaya and Corey talk, basically saying, you know, like, you know, error two or error three, got to win this. And then we see, you know, but uh, Derek talking to things. Like, hey, we're on life support right now. You help us win. We'll try to help you guys win in the next challenge. So pretty much, you know, Theo is like they're the Theo, error one and error four are having deals with one another right now because, well, I mean, what else can error one do at this point? You know, what else can they do? I know, like literally, like they have nothing else. They have nothing else that they can go for. I thought that it was smart that Derek went and talked to Theo. Like that was smart. And like, again, Theo said, like not many people are coming to talk to him. So he'll take what he can get as far as deals. So I thought that, that was very smart of Derek. You said like they're not talking. They're not working with you. They must be working against me. Mm-hmm. Something similar to that. So, yeah, I mean, like I said, Derek has, like I said, they're on life support. They got to do something. And, you know. Yeah, there's like, okay, oh, yeah, cool, I got you, you know? Which I really thought that it was error three and error four supposed to be working together, but we'll get into that a little bit later right there in, 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 in the discussion right now. So we get to today's challenge, and, you know, it's a favorite. We haven't seen it. We haven't, we haven't, ooh, I don't know if we're going to say favorite because we haven't seen it since Cutthroat. I know. It's been, uh, yeah, it's great. Like, I was so excited. Well, when I saw the previews, I was really excited. I was like, oh, my God, they're going to do this. And then in the beginning of the episode, they showed a clip from Cutthroat. I mean, they've, been doing it, they've, they've been doing that all season, correct? Mm-hmm. Like, like, okay, like, obviously, when they give us that preview, are they showing it, like, to the, to the house? Or is it just for our viewing pleasure? I think it's just for our viewing pleasure, but I don't know. Yeah, I think it's just for us, really. Mm-hmm. I like how we both took a some of our tricks right there. <laughs> like, I had perfect. mine open and I was like looking at it, and then you grabbed yours. I was like, I'm gonna take mine <laughs> you know, too. <laughs> no, you, no, you, you wanted to drink that so bad. You, you were like, I need to drink it. I need to drink it. Like, <laughs> I need my water. I need my water. Oh, I want to play like the, on the altar, like, uh, clip right there after that. But like, maybe I must have, uh, deleted it off of here. God damn it. But, uh, 
No, but uh, yeah, so let's get into today's daily. And Casey, as you always do a great job, please tell us what the name of today's daily was. Okay, so the name of today's daily was called Battle for Honor. It's very much Gladiator 2 themed. This whole episode, they were talking about the new Gladiator <laughs> yep. 2 movie, so which is very exciting. I'm very excited for that movie. Um, so it's called Battle for Honor. The objective is basically to be the last era standing with the most players left. Um, so there were two rounds in this challenge. Uh, each round is 20 minutes, a man round and a women round. And basically they stood in a circle with their big, I want, there were shields, they were shields yeah. and the players had to push each other off of the dirt mound and into the water. Um, and like I said, the, la- the era that had the most people standing after both rounds won. So the, uh, basically, the guys went, the girls went. So yeah, guys went first. It was basically error one and error four against error two and error three. But like throughout the round, I, I felt I saw two and three going at going at each other too. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, I, yeah. so, so I'm like, wait. So what's the deal there? Like, what's going on? Because clearly, you want to you want to weaken uh you want to weaken error four. Now error four only had three guys. Their error two had four guys. So error four had the most guys. So like error two had to had to like you know get together. Error three only had yeah only had three guys only had three guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so error four had the advantage right there, but it was kind of odd how I saw a little bit of two and three going at each other as well. And as always, Benaz is like, I'm pretty sure I don't think Ryan knows what's going on right now. I'm like, yeah. God dang man, like what's going on with uh, what's going on with uh, Ryan right? What's going on with Benaz right there? Like. It wasn't Bananas the first one out. Yeah, Bananas was the first one out. He looked really old. Like honestly, in yeah. this daily challenge, like you could see Bananas age. Like, <laughs> yeah, like it was just, yeah. Like the common theme that I heard from this daily was I heard someone say, "Someone help Theo!" So, like I <laughs> thought I heard that like ten times. I think that was was that Michelle. It was Michelle screaming, "Help Theo! Help Theo!" Because thought, everybody was going after Theo. Like I just don't know if like she said that that many times, or, or the pre- edit production just kept just kept repeating Michelle's words right there. Like I didn't know Michelle. Like were you saying oh, a bunch of times, "Help Theo"? Was that just production just editing that or whatever? Right. But, like I can feel like that sounds like the same thing right there. But no, Theo was scared. Was was scared attacked. They was getting attacked, and we saw a lot of like you know, backhand like people like backside, which we seen that we seen that before. Like, do I like it? No, but like we seen it before. But at the same time, you, 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 you gotta gotta do what you gotta do to win. Like all fair love warrant challenges. Yep. Nobody said you can't backside anybody, but it's like you know, like. <laughs> But no, Theo was was taking that thrashing right there. People were getting Theo. Right there. Theo, I saw guys bleeding right there. Like the shit was rough right there. It was it was it was some gladiator shit right there. Yeah, even like Jordan was like fucked up. Yeah, like after this challenge, like he said, he was like, I was seeing stars, <laughs> but you know what? I just got to get up and keep going, and that's just so Jordan of him. I, I think I look good in this right there. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> and then you know, Badass went out. Ryan went out. Who was went out? Derek went out. Oh, Derek went yeah. So, Derek. Yeah. Both Dereks eventually went out. Um, Brian went out. Bananas. So Nehemiah was the only error two guy standing. Yeah. Uh, think- no. Oh yes, Nehemiah was the only one. Sorry, yeah. I got my numbers mixed up. Yes. So as I Nehemiah got, was the only one. So as I got smaller, I think Devin was trying to throw a deal with uh Theo. And they was like, yeah. no, because he already hit, he already did another. He didn't say it, but he had a deal with Derek, though. So that's why I was like, yeah, that's why he said no. So they said, I was like, all right, get him. <laughs> like, they said, all right, fuck it, get him right there. It's like, okay, yeah. kill him. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, and kill him right there. Theo did go down. Like, he eventually went down, but it took like six people to get him out. Because, like, he stayed down, though, right? If he stayed down, that counts as being out right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, long- TJ was like, you gotta get up. How long was, how long was he down there for? Uh, it was a few. I think it was like a like probably a couple minutes. It was probably like two or three minutes that he was down because 
they showed the time in the corner and like yeah. it just kept like getting shorter and he was like still just like kind of I thought I saw five minutes on there. Mm. And I'm like, is it really? Did it take him really take him that long to, to get out right there? I mean, Theo's huge. Theo's big. He's like, a, yeah, he's a tall guy. And you know, uh, who, uh, who else? Who else? Was, um, who was like? Who was like? And who was like? In it? Uh, oh, Olivia. Olivia, 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 Olivia was thirsting over that shit. Mm-hmm. Lily mm-hmm. was thirsting over that shit right there. She was thirsting, which I mean, I mean, hey, that's your man right there. So I want my girl to be turned on like that. I mean, damn. Yep. But I uh, agree. but but it was over um time now. So like I said we said Corey. We said I think like most of our three guys were on there, right? There All were two. Their... It was there were only two guys from Era Three left. Oh, who, who was it? Who was left? That there? was Corey, Corey and Jordan. Devin was out. Huh. Seven out. Well, you know what? I'm confused because at the end it showed like in the like I, that's why that's where I got these numbers. It said error one zero, error two one, error three two, and error four two. But they didn't actually show the people fall in. Yeah, I don't remember. Cause now I'm thinking like, okay, Thea went down. Who was left in era four? Kylan and Josh. Okay, yeah. And then era three was definitely Corey. Maybe Jordan did go down. And it was because it was Corey and Devin. I saw them at the end because they were the one talking about making a deal with Thea. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, but don't we'll, know. we'll see. But so after that, Corey was feeling himself right there a little bit. Corey's letting it all out right there, like he was fired up. He was fired, fired up. I don't like that back, that that uh, that like uh, that backhanded shit right there, or whatever like that. Like he was been like cool, like Corey's been pissed off throughout this season right here. Like he's been mm. being pissed already, which I think Amanda's low key loving it right now. <laughs> uh, hey, Amanda yeah. is probably low-key loving it right now, but yo, like, then he said to Derek, I gave you mercy. I gave you mercy. There's a I know. About a bitch. Like, I'm like, oh, see, okay, see, this is the drama that we like right here. Not like, you know, personal low shots right there, but this type of shit right there. You know what I'm saying? I like this. I like I, it, too. Like, I love seeing it was that great. Shit right there. It was great. Now we have the girls, right? And once again, I thought it was going to be two and three working together, but that was not the case. As soon as Naya and Avery went out, it, it looked so funny. Story, seeing Tori just running around right now, <laughs> like oh, run away, run away, like that. That looked so funny. Like that, that really, that looked adorable. Honestly, it was funny. It was really funny. She was just like, okay, like, well, because poor Naya. Like, I feel like Naya went after somebody and then she just was not, overshot. She was not she was going yeah. to have and it looked like she had Kate for a bit too. But like simple slip right there, she fell. And Avery's like, I'm not messing up my money making right now. <laughs> I'm not messing up my money making right now. Like, no, no, uh, no, uh-uh. no. And and Jenny came up and like whacked her real hard right right down. You know what's crazy is that this is just me. I think after that elimination with Jenny and Tori and Warner Roads too, I think uh, Jenny took physical to the next level because Tori sucked her in that. Uh-huh. And like, like Tori once again proves that looks can be deceiving. Like Jay looks at the dog, looks to me like all Jack girl. But when she says I never had anybody before a physical attack, I'm like, oh what? And you're I'm, not saying, I'm not saying I, you gotta get to get into a whole lot of fights, but it's like you've never had a physical altercation of anybody, and you're in the challenge. Uh, good luck with that. Mm-hmm. And Jenny's sundering that, so I think Jenny's like, you know, let me let me redeem myself. Now, Grant, I mean, you you push A, which I mean, no, of all there's like the Avery, that's not really doing much right there. I mean, I mean yeah, yeah, you know, like yeah. I feel as though when it comes to women, this is just me. Obviously, can't remember wrong. I feel like when it comes to women, height does matter. When it comes to men, not so much. But if it's a woman, if you're like really tall than somebody, it's like you, know, you, you like, 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 
one of the most one-sided elimination I've seen was not Jenny and uh Tor, which it that was one side, but like one elimination where size definitely worked to this person's advantage was Laurel. I remember she had a she had a um it was balls in in free age, she was against Jasmine. As soon as Jasmine saw she was cool, Jasmine knew that she lost. Yeah, like there was no like Yes, there was no way that Jasmine was beating Laurel at this. It was sad, and she beat Car and Balls in too. Mm-hmm. I, I I think that's where I know I'm saying that's Car but like I feel so the height was just an advantage right there for her right there because like Car is a strong one, but like that height advantage that Laurel had like in that elimination is just you know I just feel like Laurel had it right there. Mm-hmm. Had, had Laurel been a bit shorter? Like maybe Tori's height, then I think that'd be a better, uh, fair match right there. Like, let, let's be real. Like, as much as I love, as much as I love Derek, I would, I wouldn't see Derek being a CT in that, in that, uh, in that type of uh, elimination right there. Mm-hmm. That would, yeah. I, I, I would not see that right there. But no, anyways, it just looks so funny to see Tori. Then Car goes after Tori. I'm like, wait, I guess because she, I guess she went to Tori because. She didn't want to be going. Into, she didn't want to be going straight to elimination because, and Tori goes out. You know that's it. Uh, Error three is done right there. And Tori goes straight to elimination. So I I kind of see why, Tor, uh, why Cara did that. Now Tori did hit. I think Tori did hit Cara on the other blind side, which like, I much I don't like it. That that happens, y'all. I mean that happens. Like, but it, it was like to see, uh, Cara and Laura working together. But I'm saying to myself. Yo, is it important to get Tori out first, or is it important to the lo- to, uh, lower Era Four right now? Because Era Four had the most girls. Yeah, I agree. Like, I feel like they did go, they did go after Tori. But if they did get rid of Tori, I feel like Era Three would have lost. They would have lost. They would have gone the streets. I think they would have. Yeah, that's why I said. That's why I was saying that. I think Carl was going to Tori because Tori was the last one standing. If she mm-hmm. goes out. She automatically goes into elimination right there. So I feel so like that's why Carl was going after where I'm like, at first I'm like, wait, what happened to the whole two or three happened? But I guess with Nia and Avery going out already, it's like, okay, well, plans have changed right there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, but it was seeing Laurel, it was seeing nice seeing Laurel and Carl work together. But I don't think this was as physical as the man because I didn't see any girls bruise, see girls any bruised up, up or anything like that. Yeah, I don't think they went as hard as the guys did with this elimination and you saw that they were just like pushing rather than like yeah like the member just like oh and i <laughs> mm-hmm. and i was saying this i feel as though girl fights are more vicious than men fights not in this not in this challenge right there no it was just like uh, yeah like uh, uh. like with the guys you saw them like bashing each other yes. with these like plastic things the girls were literally just like pushing I, I, each I, I other need to, i need to hear some shit like this though no, just rest. Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> That's one of my favorites. It will never get old. I, I doesn't Zach laugh at that too? I think yeah, Zach laughs at that. He has to. He <laughs> has to. And hey, yo, man, I'm not gonna lie, man. Even though he's not my favorite, as I said before. I don't, I'm not on his Patreon. He has a really good podcast. Mm-hmm. I just think I don't want to tell the guy how to run his own business, but it's like, damn, bro, why does it be on Patreon, bro? But as has his his podcast on YouTube, we, we, we can watch that. Which but as got a good podcast too. Like, uh he probably can't get many um sponsors, like because like with YouTube, like you get like sponsored ads, right? So like that's how you get money. Probably doesn't get that much. He, he's he's boy, well, yeah, sponsored by this one golf company. Yeah, one golf company. Like, who plays <laughs> golf? But do you think well, be... people play golf? But I'm just not a huge fan. Yeah, I think I, I think he, but I think he should give it a shot on YouTube. Maybe he could. Now, if it doesn't work, then go back to doing Patreon then. Mm-hmm. Because, like, listen, I'm not the biggest Zach fan, but his podcast is good. I'm not, like, from the clips that I've seen. Like, even, everything we talk about this, even Jay was like, yo, this podcast, I'm not going to lie, this podcast is, is tight, it's, it's hot, it's fire. And 
if Zach did invite Jay to the podcast and Jay there's someone showed up, which is like, yeah, why would Jay show up to your podcast? Like, like, why would why would you why would he go to a man's podcast where his ex-girlfriend is this guy's wife? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That the, like the, they, the whole reason they even met each other was because that guy was such a douche and well, not that he's not a douche, but like how do you cheat on Jenna? Like both of them. I'm sorry. Like that is so dumb. Like Jenna's great. She Jenna is, is funny. She is nice. She is absolutely beautiful. I still don't get the issue between her and Amanda. I still don't get that. Even a even a Jenny's like, what's up with her? Like, did Amanda explain that? I don't even know if she did or not. I don't know what. I just Is feel it? like Amanda wanted to stir up trouble that was stir upable, and then that's what she did because it was oh, when it was it a was... rumor. It was a rumor because like it was it's, it was during the uh, invasion of champions. She was like, I heard she got something done for this by that one guy. But it's not like Amanda was spewing. She just that's what she heard. But you know, in the challenge, you know, and you hear so now. I mean, means like means like okay, you did you did something about that or whatever. But also like. I I thought it was like that happened like off camera and then you talk yeah. about it on camera like that's kind of like messed up like I don't like that about Jen, Jenna's business off camera yeah like yeah Jenna's business they're, like off camera they'll still show it like even though it's off camera they'll still talk about it so annoying I don't like you're, that you're, you're still not in a- that aspect like of what it was about like okay yeah I get you right there like right. I could see if it was like talking or something like that but like for what that rumor was about like and it happened off camera like yeah. like before they were filming before anything like before the cameras even were set up it's just <laughs> annoying oh it's not my friends call me I gotta tell you let me call it like hold on sorry uh, no worries. I'll call you. I'll call you back. I'm recording. All right. So, anyways, yeah. So, not all that. So, and then, so winners of the daily challenge was, was Era Four, and Era Four already has a connection with with Car because Kara and uh Theo were cool, and apparently Kara's cool with, with Jenny too. With Jen, is it Jenny? Right, it's Jen, is it Jen or Jenny? I can't forget it. Jenny. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it, they think they're already good right there. I can't. I know something happened, happened before deliberation. What? Did something happen before uh, deliberation? I think something something did or no. Did happen before deliberation. Ryan and Derek talked about what Derek should do. Because, like, so with Avery, Avery put herself on the line when Derek was going to be up for elimination. And she went into elimination so that Derek didn't have to. And they kind of, like, waved around this idea that, like, what should Derek do? Should Derek, like, you know, go into elimination to save Avery? Like, so they talked about that. That's basically what both teams talked about. Okay, but isn't it kind of different though? Because Avery was the, was the winner in that one, whereas Derek did not win this one. So I feel so that's a little bit that's a little bit um it's a little bit different. You know I agree. Mm-hmm. It's a little bit different. There's different circumstances right there. If he was in power, he probably would he probably would do it. But he's he doesn't have the power to vote. Yeah. So that's the part where I where I'm like confused. So we get to deliberation, and I was touched upon it. Avery's like, bro, I see you before right there. I mean, which it, it, I, I don't I mean, think we just I don't think we talked about who won and lost. Like oh no, okay, 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 okay. Uh, error one lost. I said error four won, but error one lost. There because due to the due to the fact that uh Derek, you know, went out. Rachel mm-hmm. was still in, but like Derek went out. So it's like so once they had again, one Eric, Eric, once again, which I'm surprised they still kind of did this. So it's like this would be a now be a good time to be no teams, but you know they went with it. They went with it, the errors anyway. So it is what it is. But yeah, Eric won, lost, and Eric four won. So 
the two teams that were working together, it, now they're kind of in a predicament right now. So we saw the deliberation. We talked about, you know, Avery and um, Avery and Derek. And uh, let's let's just let's just get to like the uh the main the the, the uh what's the word I'm looking for the hot the hot top of that web weapon happened at the uh, deliberation, which uh Derek pretty much called uh Corey and Avery out. Pretty much mm-hmm. Corey's like, so you want me, right? That's that's what you're saying. You want me? That's what you're saying. And uh Derek brought up a good point. If you can't be a man on three le- three legs. That you deserve to be here, right? There. And of course, yo, absolutely right. You're absolutely right about that. So they went to this bigger end, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, right? They say, You call me out, like, no, oh, 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 I think, no, no, I know this, this happened, no, this happened after, right? Or head into it. They basically were saying that, um, that, uh, everything was basically saying that, um, I'm trying to think, what's that? Before you guys threw me in. Now we, we now we can repatch this, get on good terms, see what we can do from here. Because mm-hmm. you know they were saying? supposed to be working together. Era yeah. three and four were supposed to be working together. Yes. And era four never just every time it came to every time it comes to Corey, era four never holds up that part of the bargain. It's annoying. And Corey said, if you, "If you throw me in again, I'll take I'll take that personally right there." Mm-hmm. Well, as he should, but you know, I th- think this added more to the fire when Derek says, "Yo, I want you." Right. So pretty much uh, after the liberation, you know, everything talks about what happened, and Derek, uh, no, Corey didn't like how Rachel didn't say anything. Yeah, because Derek was like, "Oh, well, you know, well, because like even going into that, like Derek was like, oh, well, you know, it would be easier for Rachel." To beat Avery. That's how he started that conversation. Yeah. So it's like you're not even like set. And then that's when Corey was like, So you want more? Me. And then that's when it went into it. Yeah. So it was like, again, Ra- again, Rachel sits there and doesn't say anything at all. Oh, and well, then just she, lets everybody else. Well, she play said it that, out. okay, I like Rachel. This is the one thing that I strongly disagree with. And she said that Derek's the goat. He, he, I, he's one of the greatest challengers of all time. But like, the but the goat though. Now I think she said it because I asked her teammate, and I respect her for that. She's right or die for her teammate, which I absolutely love. But uh, let, let's keep it a buck here. Uh, Derek's one of the best, but you know, I wouldn't call him the goat. I would call him the goat. Of eliminations. See, that's a tough one too because um, Wes is up there too in eliminations. Yes, Wes is up there too. I agree, but I would put Derek before Wes. Well, we gotta look at the records, though. We gotta look at the I, yeah, you're right. There is yes, you're right. That's yeah. true. Let me let me look at let me look at this right now. Actually, the challenge. I know we're in the middle of recording right now, but I need to see it right now. I guess yeah. like I just like Derek's eliminations are always like very physical, very yes, like very suspenseful, like great eliminations. Like some of Wes's are like, ugh. But Derek and what Derek and uh, Wes had one of my favorite eliminations of all time, and I was that pole wrestle. That was cool. Mm, that was mm-hmm. that was a beautiful. One. Okay. Eliminations. Now, mind you, too, who's been on? Who's been on? The, who's been on the challenge longer? Though that's the other thing. Derek. Uh, Derek. Derek has eleven wins and six losses. Wes, let's see what Wes got. But Wes has been doing it a little bit longer than Derek, too. That's the other thing, which was just like, ugh. But you said Derek is, is the go of elimination, so I gotta see if I can correct correct you on that. Wes has 14 wins, wins and nine, nine losses. losses. He's been in 20. So wait, 14 wins and nine losses. And Derek what did Derek have? 11 wins and six losses. 11 wins and six losses. It's pretty close. That is close. Let's break this down. But like, I don't. I don't want to break down every single one that they've done. That's gonna be. That's gonna be like. That's gonna take what some time. Right like, there. What number is bigger? Like, 
I don't know. Like I'm trying to do math. Eleven and eleven and six is like seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's five. Like it's 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 five between them, and then with Wes, it's uh five between no, but like, them. But like between like uh Derek's record and uh fourteen and nine, fourteen and nine losses. That's still it's kind of close right there. Yeah, like it's pretty much like the same. I mean, oh, I, that's like I don't even know. Like, see, see, okay, here's it. Okay, we'll get into this. We'll get into this a little bit later. But I'm not gonna get here and say he's a go to elimination because he hasn't won one yet. But we'll get into it a little bit later, right there. But um, yes, um, yeah, I had a brain fart right there. So basically, Eric three is basically saying we don't hold grudge. Well, we, we, we see no. Eric says that we hold grudges. Mm-hmm. How is that a good thing? I don't get that. Well, because you don't want to piss them off. Oh, oh, oh yeah, it's true. I guess like, we... they're going to come back for you. Like, they're going to come back for you. Like, okay. if, if they say Corey's name, like, Era 3 has a, I'm sorry, Era 3 has a better shot of winning a challenge, a daily, than Era 2. I believe, I truly believe that Era 3 has a better shot of winning a daily than era two. I agree. Like I said, era three's really been impressing me. Like I knew they'd be decent, but I didn't think it'd be like this great. And that's all me for underestimating them right there. But like their team is just best. Like I said, they even though it's still it's still a slight issue, they they did a whole rotation of you know volunteering. Like nobody goes twice within like the same week or whatever like that. So in terms of team chemistry, team three era three has the best one. Mm-hmm. They do, but like it is always between error three and error four. I went eliminate when 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 it is daily. So it's like uh, then it's like yo, we we work together. Let's keep on doing it because I want to see error two and error one out of here, and rightfully mm-hmm. so. Right now, I'll give the I'll give them this. I gotta give Theo and Jenny credit on this part right there because they didn't they want they didn't want they didn't want to take all the heat, so they had their little you know. Meet him and say, "Hey, what do you guys want now?" Error now, Kyle and Michelle were like, "Yo, why are we going to mess up anything that we had going on with Error with Error Three? We were working together. Why mess it up now? Mm-hmm. Like, why? You know what I'm saying? But you know, Josh and Casey, you know, they were uh, saying, "Yeah, you know, if you want to go for." Uh, if you want to go with uh Derek and uh Avery, it's all cool. I don't want I don't want to come into the way between your decision. That's your decision right there. Mm-hmm. And it's like fell right into the trap. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you fell right into the trap right there. Fell I want to have have like a uh thing. I would be like if I had a juice be like, we got him. We yeah. got him. We got him. So yeah, um, I don't know how they idiot Josh being idiot Josh. And Casey should should have said something right there. She should have said something right there. So we see uh Theo and Jenny talk to uh Corey. Like, hey, it's gonna be you. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be you. And of course, Corey's mad because, like he said, oh, he said the math they added because they said that we had a team discussion. Of course, like miss me that shit. Like, like so the math they added right. Even, even uh, well, they talked. They talked to um. Devin and Jordan first, but Devin wasn't buying that team meeting Mm-mm. thing right there. They were not buying that team meeting thing right there. As soon as uh, Devin and uh, Michelle talk, you see Corey and and uh, Josh arguing. Corey's close calling up, be like, "Yo, how does that not make any sense right there? Five to two right there. You didn't try to vouch me because like, well, no, because you went after uh, you went after Theo. What is this supposed to do?" Yeah, like, so what? And even Kylan had a good point. Like, he was like, you, like, he was there in the room with the yeah. vote, and he said something. He was like, easily Josh and Casey could have said something. They could have said something, yeah. anything. They could have been like, no, we disagree. We think that you should put in Kara and Derek. Oh, they cool, ease, cool. and the, and it would have, and oh, it would have. Corey and Avery. Or, yeah, Corey and Avery. Sorry. I don't know what I was saying. Yeah. Corey and Avery. But, like, it, they were just being stupid. Like, they, like again, Josh is so stupid. <laughs> he gets on my last nerve. 
You really hate Josh. I can't stand Josh. He gets on my nerves. Even when he's like, let me talk. Let me talk. Like, no. 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 <laughs> you, don't, you don't want to make any points at all. Even if it could be logical. You just like hearing the sound of his voice. Yes, I can't stand Josh. Like, it's it's... And it's not even, like, on a personal level. Like, I feel bad. Like, I don't want Josh to, like, one day look on the internet and be like, this girl Casey doesn't like me. She hates me. Like, it's he nothing personal. You're just annoying. Like, he blocks a lot of people. Get on my nerves. And whether it's, like, the way, like, production is handling it, like, it makes you look annoying he and He just weak. hasn't done anything to, like, solidify his legacy in the challenge. I agree. I mean, I give you credit. Air Force winning dailies, which are surprising, which is surprising me. But like, you really haven't done anything that impresses me throughout this whole, throughout this whole uh, challenge, your challenge career. Mm-hmm. Like, and it's crazy because he won Big Brother, and I watched that season of Big Brother, and I didn't like him then either. I was so annoyed when he won. But this, this, this is a different game, though. The same. It Big is, Brother. and then he sucks in the challenge. Sucks. That's a different game right here. But uh no, bro, that's supposed to be, supposed to be your friend. Mm-hmm. He says, Oh, Corey says it. it's happened it's happened on you. And then Katie says, We're in the wrong. That that's on uh Jenny. That's that was on uh Theo and Jenny. No, y'all fell to the freaking trap. If you wanted to save your friend, you would have saved them right there. So that's on y'all. <laughs> and not to mention you're going against your va- your alliance. Like, you guys talked about this vacation alliance. Josh said that it was real. Josh said earlier in the season that the vacation alliance was real. Okay? Yep. But also, so too, Why did you go against it? Why, like... Tori doesn't, Tori's not liking it. Neither is, neither is, neither is Devin. Mm-mm. That's why he's so stupid. <laughs> I'm going to say Josh. He's like... <laughs> That, like I said, I hate Josh. You see that? Oh my! You should have made it. Like it's right in there. my notes. <laughs> <laughs> I hate Josh. Did <laughs> you say you don't really hate him personally, right there? And then you yeah. say I hate Josh. It's just letting out my frustration. I'm sorry, Josh, but you're getting on my nerves. Get angry. Get angry. Get angry. Yeah. Get angry. Get angry. Get angry. So we get to the elimination, and this probably has to be one of the best eliminations that we've seen. Not from the not not from the women's side, but from the men's side. The yes. women's size was one sided. But before we get to elimination, uh, we as we all know, Theo and, and uh, Jenny voted for uh voted for um Corey and Avery. And, Avery. and you know, Corey's like you know. I was backsided today. Then I was like, come on. Re-. Derek's like, come on, man, really? And then you see Jordan like, you don't do it in someone's face. You man up. Come on, come on, D. Come on, Derek. Got what you want. I'm like, God dang. I'm like, mm-hmm. I would say, if you don't like Jordan, he rides and dies for his team. He rides yes. and dies for his team. He does. He like, absolutely does. Jordan didn't have to say anything. <laughs> Jordan didn't have to say anything. He didn't have to say anything. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I like those. Too, too. It's like Derek's and Derek has a good point. Why are they making such so little to a big deal right now? Mm-hmm. Is, like something, yeah. It's, it's small. Pause. But um, Casey, explain mm-hmm. to our lovely viewers what today's uh, elimination was. Or it was yes, so the elimination night. was called. Oh yes, yep. The elimination was called Fate of the Gladiators. So basically, in this elimination. There's one striker and one evader. The striker has boxing gloves and a blindfold. (laughs) And the evader has a suit of armor and targets attached to this suit of armor with bells and noisy chicken shoes. And basically... Were they called chicken chicken shoes? well, they yeah, like squeaky. somebody said they were chicken shoes because they were like squeaky the squeaky chickens. Okay, it was it's a tape to the shoe. All right, my bad. Go ahead. I'm sorry to interrupt you. Go ahead. No, no worries. Um, so basically, the striker is ha- is blindfolded and has boxing gloves, and they're in this ring, and the evader has to like. 
like get away from the striker and not let them punch these targets that they have all over their body. And then after each round, which is five minutes, each round was five minutes, I think. Um, yeah, they or, switched. Was it ten minutes? Or oh no 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 no. Yes, yeah, five. I think it was five minutes. I think it was five minutes. Yeah. I think. Um, and then they switch, and then yeah, whoever has the most uh, targets, targets. Yeah, like targets. They oh, were yeah. like little sand. Like they were little like yeah. Pockets of like dust or like chalk or something that they had to like punch and yep yeah. whoever whichever person got the most of those off their opponent in the quickest time won. And let's just get, let's just get this out the way. Avery and Rachel was one sided. Like oh even, my like, god, Rachel. Avery. When Rachel yeah. was the striker, Avery stood. Avery was just standing. Avery was not moving. She wasn't moving, and if she was like if she did move, it was either it was just. Clearly to make a noise. Like yeah. I don't know what Avery was was thinking. It was it was sad to watch, honestly. She was getting punched in the face and everything. Like Rachel was laying it all out. I'm like, yo, she's already dead. Like, 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 yeah, stop like... It. like leave her alone <laughs> right there. Like she was Rachel didn't her. know she was blindfolded. Yeah, so that's it's like, that's like she didn't know, you know what yeah. I mean? Like it, it was like Avery was not doing anything to dodge. No, like <laughs> I don't. I didn't understand it. I didn't understand. Like I would have been just running around in a circle. Yeah, Yo, like, it was. It was so bad. I don't remember Avery being a striker. Yeah, she was, and you know she did. She did do pretty good, but. Yeah, it was bad. I think she just took so much of a beat from Rachel to even do anything on the striker part. That's exactly what happened. Yeah, it was just too much of a beat right there. Mm -hmm. So Rachel pretty much sunned um, Avery. So now we get to the, the main event, man, Derek and Corey. And my God, this was a fight. How, who, who went first as the striker? Corey. Corey, Corey, Corey went first. Mm hmm. And Corey was letting it all out right there. I mean, Derek is only on one leg, so he couldn't really do much in that fight. He couldn't. Mm -hmm. he, he couldn't do much in that fight. He really couldn't. So I mean, all he could do was like duck, like and just uh, try to like, yes, block Corey. But like Corey was going at him, like, mm -hmm. yeah, they both. Re they, I think they both in these eliminations, like, let all of their frustration out. Oh my god! Absolutely, absolutely. So where is there and uh, uh, Corey got all of them. Yeah. Corey got all of them. He got all of them. So now it was uh, Derek's turn. And I'll be honest with you, I'm like, dude, this is going to be tough. Like, he's only got one leg. Great. Lucky for him, it's a, it's a small ring. So he has a chance. And Derek was giving him that work. Derek was like, I don't, Dan, I'm, I'm going to change everything. When it comes to eliminations, <laughs> I will say Derek puts on a show. Uh, that, on yes. A show. He puts, puts, puts on a show every show. single time. So, yes, Wyatt's record might not be, it's, it's an okay record, but his performances in these eliminations are always great. They are always, always, always fantastic. I agree, 100%. Love them, love them, love it. And Derek got all, all the same, he had all of his targets. So mm -hmm. it came down to who did the fastest. And actually, though, know, before we did that, Corey and Derek were showing great sportsmanship after that, after that uh that performance right there. Beautiful like, sports. They yeah. thanked each other for how yeah. awesome they did. Yeah. So it's like they brushed that shit. Up. They they know this shit ain't personal. They brushed that shit off to the side right there, which I love. I love that right there. Some of these girls, I don't know if they would do that. I don't know. If they I do agree. That. I no. think they hold a grudge. I think they hold hold a grudge. I think maybe to this day, Sylvia is still holding that grudge against Kellyanne. Maybe to this day, maybe. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, no. speaking of all stars, five. I got something to tell you actually after after this. Okay. So, so uh, yeah. So Kennedy was the fastest, and Corey got it. Corey got the win, and like you know, I'm happy for Corey right now. I mean, he's Corey's been having a good season so far. Like he took out two uh two uh challenge champs 
legend, legend in the game. Like, Corey, you know, Corey doing a good job right now, man. Like, I'm happy for Corey right now. Mm-hmm. And, no, uh, now that he's back in the house, he's only, he's only got one thing on his mind. <laughs> That's <my show. laughs> Revenge! That's what he wants right now. That's what he wants. That's what he wants. So let's get to our new targets now. Automatically, we got Rachel. But we start with Era 4, though. Mm-hmm. He started with Era 4. So we have Casey finally stepping up. And we got, was it Kylan? Yep. Mm-hmm. Was they Kylan. both volunteered. Yes. Era 3, we have Devin. And we got Tori. Yes. Era 2. We got Laurel and we got Ryan. Ryan volunteered. Yeah. And and I'm sure Banana's like, yes, finally. Mm -hmm. Finally. Mm -hmm. Now, I was saying this, I'm not going to lie. At first, I'm like, would Banana try to throw because Derek's in it? But I'm like, wait, Laurel's there. So he's he's going to try to win it for Laurel's. Yeah, he wouldn't. And for for, uh, Aaron Waller, we just got Rachel. Yep. It just showed Rachel. (laughs) Which I don't know what's going on right now, folks. We have not got to single people. No, we, it's no teams still. No. I mean, it's still errors. We never, they, haven't, they haven't broken it up into singles right now. So I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. I don't know. But I mean, like, it could be good for her because, like, she's not going to be a tar. Like, she's go- she's a target. But, like, she's not, like, an actual target that people are going to try to shoot at. Like, Nobody's going to sit there and be like, okay, we have to make sure that Rachel doesn't win. Like, they're going to be going after, like, like Era 4 is going to be like, Era 2 can't win. Or Era 3 can't win. Like, they're, ne- they're not going to be, like, seeing Rachel as a threat. So, if she's, I wonder, if she somehow wins this next challenge, if she can make two, I would just say this. If she can make it to the final, and I'm not saying she's gonna win it, but if she makes it to the final under all these circumstances, those will be one of the greatest performances I've ever seen. I agree. Now, because she's by herself, she had nobody. Nobody. Her best best to avoid elimination. If she can somehow, which I don't see her winning anything, because it's like I don't think it's, it's gonna be any. It's not gonna be any. Fa- it's not gonna be fair. How is she gonna? No. How, is she gonna how is she gonna win a daily? Right, I agree. And it's not even that it's just like she's on a team by herself. Like she doesn't even have any allies in this game right now. I, like I, I mean she Eric's... does with Derek. Yeah, she does with Derek and Ryan. Never mind. Yeah. I was more thinking no Veronica, no Anissa, no uh Tina, like nobody that she worked with in past challenges is on this one. Yeah. So okay, so then we have our new, we have our new, uh, we have our new uh, targets. Here's what I wanted to bring up. So apparently, like I said, they're, they're filming All Stars Five. Apparently, there was a big altercation between Devon and Shane. It had to be separated. Oh, and I'm seeing really? this. And I'm seeing this mugshot of Shane. Which I don't, I don't know. That was before or after this challenge. I didn't know that Shane had a mugshot, but I don't know. I heard this. I heard this was bad. Oh wow! I heard this was bad. I'm trying to say we can find more information about it, but like, I don't see anything on Google right now. So, but like I said, I just heard it's bad. Oh my gosh! Yeah. I, I was just, this was on this was on Twitter. This was on Twitter, which you know, take it with a grain of salt. But I don't know if well, technically X. But like I don't, I don't know. If it would be I, I don't think I don't think they would lie about something like this. Let, let me see if I can find it on. Uh, I know I follow this one person on here. Uh, let's see here. 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 Uh. I can't, I can't see I right don't there. see anything. Let me see. MTV Expose. Let me see. Uh, I don't know, but um, 
Let's say I saw that, and like I said, I just saw that. Like I said, this uh, this little bug shot with uh, with um, with Shane. Like I said, I don't know if that was before or after this thing. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I know. So I guess I just just, just got to wait and see. You know what happens with that because I'm I'm very curious to know. Cause I know they had their little disqualification on um, Final Reckoning, mm-hmm. but he, right here, I mean, okay, yeah. So, yeah. See, and they said the streets are saying Shannon Lundra made personal attacks against the Vaughn on All Stars Five, but we'll see. Okay, this book just seems to be old. I don't think it's anything new. It seems to be okay. Like them, so yeah. So we'll see. We'll we'll see with that. We'll see. We will. Mm-hmm. We will see. I'm just curious to know what that. But uh, yeah, this was a good episode. We had some drama. Corey was the MVP of tonight. He was- yes, hands down. Yeah, we'll yeah. Like- that one right there. He was the MVP of tonight's episode. But uh, look, guys, let us know what you guys think about this episode. Um, uh, oh, uh, we gotta think about how. Oh man, uh, we gotta talk for next week because I'm actually gonna be away next week. But we gotta talk. We'll we'll talk behind camera though. We'll discuss oh. this all right there, but uh, we'll, we we will still talk about it, but like it might be a bit delayed, but we'll see after after having our conversation after this. But uh, as always, folks, give us a video, like, subscribe, if you want to be part of Douglas family, comment, share, do all that type of stuff right there. Listen, let us know who your MVP was of tonight's episode. Uh, are you winning for Corey now? Because cool, I said Corey's like Corey's elimination record is pretty good too. Now, mm-hmm. I never says um. Uh, Core uh West and uh Derek's one challenges. Corey has it, so it's like he does have a good elimination record, but have haven't been the best the go eliminations. I wouldn't say that just yet. Like I want to see him win a, a daily, well, not daily, win an actual challenge for him to become considered, you know, a a, a go of eliminations. We'll have to see that, but uh, no, no, nonetheless, though, I would say Corey's uh resume is growing. Obviously, he's, he's still he still needs that elimination. He still needs that uh elimination that challenge win. But to me, his resume is getting better. Mm-hmm. I agree. It is. But like I hope you guys enjoyed the video as always. Oh, that's just some pretty serious shit, shit right there. Um, um sorry the team is going on right there. But uh listen, let us what you guys think. Comment, subscribe, share, follow social media, all that good stuff before and We'll see you guys in the next video. You guys take care and have a great weekend and be safe. Bye.